This is KT Bradford with Laptop Magazine, and we are at the Samsung Chromebook Series 5 launch event, taking our first look at this awesome little Chromebook. So as you said, this is a Series 5, it's from Samsung, and it is much sleeker than the CR48 Chromebook that we saw earlier, um, because this is our consumer model. So one of the things you'll notice is it has this nice island style keyboard, and of course, the search button over here that replaces caps lock that everyone was so up in arms about before. And then we also have the nice large multi-touch uh, touchpad, which is a click pad, so no buttons, but you can click it if you want to or you can tap. And um, Google says that the, the software behind it, the drivers behind it are much better now, so you're going to have a really good experience. So before we get into Chrome OS, let's take um, a little trip around the hardware here. Over here on the edge, we've got one USB port on the side. Coming around the front, we've got a 4-in-1 card slot that's got an SD card in it right now. And then over here, um, behind this little door, there's another uh, USB as well as a VGA dongle port. We've got a combo uh, headphone and mic and then power in the back. And so pretty light on um, ports, like a netbook, but this is not a netbook, it is a Chromebook, and so I'm here with someone from Google who's going to show us some of the cooler aspects of uh, Chrome OS, and this is the newest version, right? Version 12. It is. This is the depth channel. Cool. So the first thing we'll show you, actually I'm going to shut it down, which Okay. Maybe odd thing to show you, but I want to show you how quickly it boots up. So the first thing you'll notice, I didn't have to turn, I didn't have to hit power. I just lift the lid and it turns on by itself. So even when it's like all the way off, when you lift the lid, it That's will turn correct. on. And then it's up in and just then a few seconds. it's up in eight seconds and I can log in. And so now I'm going to log in. Remember my password. Whoops. So now I'm logged in. If this is the first time I was logging into this machine, mm -hmm. all of my settings, all of my apps are going to sync from uh, any other Chromebook or any other Chrome browser that's associated with this user account. Awesome. So you can see I have all of my apps here. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I'm going to show you just to power it back down is I close it up, I take it somewhere. Normally this is what most users are going to do. They're not going to actually turn it down. Uh -huh. uh, but I turn it on and it it's comes resumed back. in really less than one second. Awesome. Faster than I can get here. Um, the other thing you'll notice is in terms of Gmail, I'm immediately logged into the Gmail account that's associated here. And I can get right to that, I can do that. Um, now if I'm sharing this with other people, I can lock the screen. Uh, if I'm at home and I have someone else uh, that wants to log in with their account, mm -hmm. super easy to share. Uh -huh. So I can give this to uh, my spouse, I can give it to the kids. My nephews actually use one and they, uh, they love it because they can just log in and, you know, I gave them mine and I don't have to worry about, uh, well, I gave them the CO48, don't have to worry right. about them doing it. Um, and then there's also a guest account just for That's correct. Guest account, which is uh, totally incognito mode. So okay. nothing stored here. Um, and, uh, you know, no browser history. So a lot of times you have someone come over, they want to use your computer. It's kind of awkward because you're like, you know, they, they're they unsure, you're unsure. Right. Here you can just do it. Don't worry about it. Awesome. Now, um, one of the things I talked about at the keynote this morning was now Chrome OS has a file manager, which it did not have before. Mm -hmm. And so, um, what does that mean exactly? Like, uh, are users going to be able to just deal with all of their files? Are they going to only be able to deal with some of their files? Like, what, what can Chrome OS do? Sure. So that was definitely one of the um, one of the gaps uh, when we launched the pilot program that we knew we had to address. And so that's what we're doing right now. So in the dev channel, we do have a new file manager. So I just put in an SSD card, you'll notice that it's now saying uh, removable device detected and kill off Gmail. So you can see this very simple file manager came up mm -hmm. and we think most people are moving into the cloud so they're actually using, uh, what we've seen is they're using a lot fewer local files. Okay. But in the instance someone sends you some attachment or sends you documents, I do have those files here and I can access those. Those are on the SSD card. Uh -huh. And if I, let's say I have uh, music files, I can go in there, the music file, and I can actually play it in a media player directly 
within Chrome OS and you can see it's playing there. Awesome. And I can create playlists or do things like that. And this little pop-up here, this has a specific name in Chrome OS. The uh, media player here. Uh huh. But oh, I mean, oh, like the this. Panel. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, we so call it's this called a panel. panel. Okay. Yeah. And so panels, you can minimize the panels, and then I just pull the cursor back down to the bottom, mm -hmm. and it comes back up. Nice. And I can close that out. I can also do the same thing for movies. If I go up here to, I have some movies here. So I think I have a Chrome, uh, Chrome Speed video here. Mm -hmm. I can play that in a panel. And what's nice with the panel is, I, let's say I want to create another window, I'm going to do control N to create another window. Uh -huh. And let's say I go to YouTube in this window. I can move back and forth. I'm just going to do control tab to, sorry, alt tab to move back and forth between uh -huh. those windows. But the panel stays there, so okay. I can move around and keep that. And other, can you have more than one panel at a time, like multiple panels going on? You can, you can. So if I had a chat, so multiple chats, those can be in panels as well. Cool. And I can go to full screen here with this if I want to watch the video full screen. Awesome. Uh, flash performance is much improved. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this can play 720p video? can play 720p video. Cool. Um, we were just showing some of that a minute ago. Great. And so um, inside there's an Intel dual core processor. Um, it is Atom, we have confirmed, is an Atom processor. And so um, but since Chrome OS is it's a pretty light OS, basically it's just a browser, you're expecting like really fast speeds? That's right. Yeah, it's really uh, it's really fast. It's uh, much faster than the CR48, yes. mm -hmm. and um, and the speed is actually getting improved. It's it's improving with every release as well. So right. it really is true that it's improving over time. And so even since the pilot program, things have improved a lot. So I can scroll down, um, get your response. Mm -hmm. Opening up the tabs and moving between tabs is very responsive. Awesome. Well, we are looking forward to getting this on uh, on or before June fifteenth, so we can check it out and. Get give a full review, um, but for now, this is our first hands-on look with the Samsung Chromebook Series 5 uh, notebook, netbook, Chromebook thing. This is KT Bradford with Laptop Magazine.